Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on cones and spheres. This is an A grade topic. It might be worth having a look at the Pythagoras and the circles maths cast beforehand because we'll be using some of the things we learnt there. So let's begin. Here's our first question. The radius of this sphere is 5 centimetres. Calculate the volume of the sphere. So we see here in the question we have a sphere with radius of 5 centimetres. And it's asking us to calculate its volume. So all we need to do is look at the front of the exam paper and have a look at the formula for the volume of a sphere. Well, we can look it up and it tells us the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we don't need to remember this formula. We can just look it up at the front of the exam paper. Now we know what pi is. Pi is 3.14, and we know what r is, because it tells us in the question r is 5 centimetres. So all we need to do is put these numbers into our formula. So the volume equals 4 over 3 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 5 cubed. Type this into a calculator, and we will get our answer, which is 523.6. And because it's uh, in centimetres, the units are going to be centimetres cubed because it's volume. Volume is centimetres cubed. So our answer is 523.6 centimetres cubed. So as you can see, all we had to do for this question was look at the equation, the formula for the volume of the sphere, and put the numbers in which we had. Right, let's have a go at now finding the surface area of a sphere. So it's the same question, radius 5 centimetres, but we're looking for the surface area this time. So all we need to do, look at the front of the formula sheet again, and it will tell us the surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. Again, we don't need to remember this, we can just look it up. So looking at this formula, we need pi, which we know is 3.14, and we need the radius, which has told us in the question, the radius is 5 centimetres. So just put these numbers into our formula. We will have area equals 4 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius squared, which is 5 squared. Type this into a calculator, and we will get our answer of 314.2 centimetres squared because area is measured in centimetres squared. Okay, now we've done a sphere, we're going to move on to a cone. So here's our next question. The height of this solid cone is 6 centimetres, and its radius is 4 centimetres. Calculate the volume of the cone. So looking at it here, the radius is the distance between the middle of the circle at the bottom and the end of the circle. So we know radius is 4, and the height is the distance from the middle of the circle to the top in a straight line up. So the height is 6. So we look up the formula for the volume of a cone, and we can just see that the volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Again, we don't need to remember this formula. We can just use it by looking at the front of the exam paper. So we need to know pi. Well, we know pi. Pi is 3.14. We need to know the radius. Well, we know the radius. The radius is 4 centimetres. And we need to know the height. Well, we know the height is 6 centimetres. So all we've got to do is put these numbers into our formula. So when you put these numbers into the formula, we will get 1 over 3 times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius squared, so that's 4 squared, times the height, which is 6. Type this into a calculator, and we will get our answer, which is 100.5. Now, because it is uh, a volume question, the units are going to be centimetres cubed again. So the volume of this cone is 100.5 centimetres cubed. OK, now we're going to have a go at finding the surface area of this cone. So this is the same question except this time we're finding surface area. Right, so when we look at the formula sheet at the front of the exam, 
we will be told that the area of the curved part of the cone is given by the formula pi r l. So this is the curved part. Now a cone is made from two parts. It's made from the curved part and it's made from the circle at the bottom. So we can work out the area of the curved part using this formula, pi r l, which is on the front of the exam paper. Now we know r. r is the radius of the circle, which is 4 centimetres. What we don't know is l. So l stands for length and is the diagonal line on your cone. Sometimes they give you the length. This time we are asked to work it out. Now the way we work it out is we make it into a right angle triangle. There's the right angle triangle. And we're looking for the longest side. So we're going to use Pythagoras to calculate the longest side. So if I draw the triangle again, the triangle is six up and it's four across. And I'm looking for the longest side. So this is a plus question. So we do six squared, add four squared, which is 36, add 16, which is 52. But we've got to remember to square root that. When we square root 52, we will get 7.2 centimeters. So the length is 7.2 centimeters. So now we've calculated the length, I can work out the surface area of part number one, the curved part of the cone. Because the surface area of the curved part is pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 4 centimeters, times the length, which we've just worked out, and what a length is 7.2 centimeters. Type this into a calculator, and you'll get 90. 0.5 centimeters squared. So that's the area of the curved part of this cone. But we've got to not forget that we have a circle at the bottom of the cone. So we must also work out the area of the circle and add it on. So the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi is 3.14 times the radius, which is 4 centimetres in this case, squared. And we just type that into a calculator, and we will get 50.3 centimetres squared. So we now have our two parts. Part number one, the curved part, is 90.5 centimetres. And part number two, the circle at the bottom of the cone, is 50.3 centimetres. So I just need to add these two up. 90.5 add 50.3 to find the total surface area. So when we add these up, we get 140.8 centimeters squared. So the total surface area of the cone is 140.8 centimeters squared. So this question was a little bit more tricky because we had to find L. Sometimes they will give that to you straight away, so you won't need to find it. Okay, I've got a couple of questions for you to have a go at now. As always, if you need help, ask your teacher. Good luck.